When were you living in Rwanda, Miranda? Uh, during the years of uh, 1938 to the time, uh, like, uh, I got married. Once I got married, I, you know, I came to live in Montreal. And um, that was, I got married in 51, um, 1951. And, um, like, uh, we, we lived in, uh, like, my husband and I lived in Montreal, like, for two years. And then after that, we moved back to, uh, yeah, to Rwanda, Randa. And we lived there for about um, five years after that. Were there many Jewish families living in Rwanda? Rwanda? At that time, there was uh, approximately 35 Jewish families living there. Absolutely. Do you remember the synagogue that was there? Do you have any images of it in your arms? Yes, it was a beautiful synagogue, really lovely. And like um, Mr. Uh, Michael Corman, or Michael Corman, he was the president practically uh, all the time looking after it because he c lived right behind the synagogue. So he was like the caretaker, the president, uh, the one that looked after it. The shamus. Yeah, well, the shamus. You could call him uh, like um, a guardian, really, for, you know, like Jewish, uh, I, you know, Jewish happenings and whatnot, you know. And we, we used to have, like, people coming down from, let's say, the Canadian Jewish Congress every once in a while. And, uh, like, um, in order to get, you know, like, money to run the synagogue for the heating and whatnot, the rabbi, well, um, they would always have, like, socials, which they called socials, once a week, usually Saturday night. And the people would come together, and all the women would uh, do different, you know, make different dishes. And, uh, like, it was uh, when strangers would come, like, from Montreal, a lot of the, uh, let's say, salesmen would come, you know. Uh, they would all know that Saturday night you came to synagogue, and it would be a, special, a small fee to enter, like a dollar or 50 cents or what have you. And, you know, they would have a nice time. And, uh, like, most of the time, the, the people, like, uh, would socialize. Some people would just talk. Other people would play a, a card, you know. And it was a very fun evening. It sounds like it's a very happy Jewish community. Very, very happy Jewish community. Do you remember, like, the holidays? Were the holidays a special time? Oh, yes. Holidays was a very special time because... They would come from the surrounding little areas, like there was like Val d'Or, uh, there was uh, an, um, Malarte, they would have one or two Jewish people living there, like a family. Then there would be like um, Lazar, you know, and they would all come in to come to synagogue, like for the holy high, uh, the high holidays, to our synagogue. People would put them up and they would be there for the few, you know, like the uh, the days. The high holidays. Oh, that's really Do you think there are still Jewish people living up there? Well, I think uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but there might be about if there is maybe two or three families, but that's all because most of them moved out once the children became like you know of age, like uh, where they needed the education, college, and whatnot. Most of the people moved out, and they went to cities like to Toronto, Montreal. Uh, you know, a few people would came like from Montreal, and uh, like opened up business, as I said, shot the business, and then they would, you know, that would be their home. They come there. Yeah. If they couldn't, go, they couldn't go to Israel, so they. Yeah. There. Right. Oh, it sounds like it was a really very fun place to grow up in for a Jewish person. It sounds like it was a really happy community. Very. Very happy. I'm, I'm very grateful that you've had the opportunity to hear about it. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you.